And stage three, float islands. Oh my, we're on the ocean lands. And Kirby got a fishing hook stuck in his mouth because he's kind of a derp. But they, that's part of Kirby's wonderful, wonderful charm now, isn't it? Just, he's just one big old colossal derp pile of derpiness. By the way, we, you might see some other things, like a bomb. I shoot this bomb and it blows stuff up. So the foundation for Kirby's copy ability was actually here. So, I mean, Kirby can grab a number of, of, of various objects he finds around, but he can't use them at will. He can only use them once when he finds them. So, there you go. There's your, there's your little history lesson. I guess eventually, later in the series, they were like, Hey, what if Kirby could just absorb abilities from whatever he ate? That would be awesome and amazing, would it not? And everyone was like, yes, that would be very amazing. And then they made it so. And it's time for Kirby to sing once more. Ow, that was my face. Sing again! There we go. Infernal creatures! Trying to mess up my game? Kirby ain't got time for your nonsense, evil hermit crab peoples. He's gonna eat both yours. Let's see, is there any health running around these areas? Because I could certainly use a nice pep brew of some sort. Alright, so now we're gonna have to deal with very, very pointy objects. No thank you, sir. That, and some of those, and another one of those evil clams. Why so many clams trying to kill my face? I'm just wrong. Either way, I managed to acquire a pep brew and almost... I almost got ambushed, managed to dodge, but then got hit anyway. Fantabulific. Alright, let's just absorb some fools. Spit you up. I'm pretty sure there's a hidden door right over here, and I've been correct in my assumption. And if I'm right, there should be something worth getting down here. Yep, totally called it. I forgot there wasn't a floor down there. Alright, so that was a that was a terrible mistake on my part. I apologize profusely for my in in my, my incompetence in the face of Kirby platforming perils and all the like. And here I was going to try and beat this game without dying. Oh well. Can't win them all, I s -s -s suppose. Oh well. Kirby ain't too good of a swimmer in this game either, which is good. I mean, it's, it's not good, but just as well. He doesn't do a lot of swimming in this thing anyway. Either way, I managed to kill myself, but I, I gained a life in return, so I guess the deficit evens itself out. So that's all well and good. Now we gotta watch out for these pointy, pointy spikes. Oh dear. Nefarious. Who put these spikes all over the here's place? Was it DDD? DDD, you terrible, terrible person. Anyway, I see a maximum tomato. L little known to possibly very well known fact. Kirby's favorite food is tomatoes. Specifically the maximum tomato. He loves it so much that it manages to actually completely heal him. And I guess that's pretty much the backstory for why a tomato is Kirby's ultimate healing item. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but I guess it's its favorite food, so it does even more stuff than it would normally, so I guess I can understand it. And now it is time for Calamari! Haha! -ha! Oh ho! Squids cannot fly! What crazy backwards country land is this place? Well, that's right, we're in Popstar, land of the crazy pants. I mean, oh, eat fireballs, you evil demons! Okay, I see a door over there that definitely wants to be walked through. Hello, what's in here? Ooh! Free pet brew and a one-up. Sweet. That'll make up for that one life I stupidly lost. I mean, granted, I'm probably going to lose it again, but hey, it's something. Anything to prevent a game over, I suppose. Alright, and more! More tiki heads and evil squid peoples. Ow, that was my face again. You are a terrible person. Terrible, terrible hermit crab man. Let's see, now it is time for us to fly away. Kirby has access to the warp stars, you see, which, I don't know, gains some super light speed. And anyway, we have reached a whale with problems, and that problem was me, so he used his mighty blowhole to send me flying into the sky. So it's not really an ocean-themed level anymore, now it's a sky-themed level. It's two, two, two things in one. Either way, I'm not sure what we just ate, but it allows us perpetual flight and perpetual air pellet shooting, which makes this game temporarily a side-scrolling shooter, which is an interesting little, you know, change em up they did. Alright, I mean, this game is short enough, it's core mechanic is honestly more than enough to be able to stand itself up, you know, completely on its own, but hey, sure, fine. Fine by me! And once more, for good measure! I just blew up the Hindenburg, I just blew up the Hindenburg, I just blew up the Hindenburg, and then it all died, yay!